The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello, and welcome to the Media Zone. And Dave here. <coughs> oh, hit the cough button. Ed and Dave, where you? I still have this shiny spot I've had oh. for four weeks. Did I get it yet? No. no. There, I got it. No, that's back. No, but it must be that it's new. The, tilt your head down. And I know. I can't, there you go. I can't do that because I have to look up at the camera. No, you don't. No one wants to see so us. You're gonna see. <laughs> Maybe if I go way up then. No, it's just new light. I think I have to jiggle. But thank God... Uh, at least we, I think we have more natural flesh tones. Oh. I try my best uh, to uh, fix them in the editor, but sometimes we were orange. Ooh. And uh, after the Frankenstein, uh, where we had decent light, I don't know if it was the outside lighting, but it was more of this daylight lighting we were seeing here, and this very brown uh, lighting off to the side. Nobody cares about the lighting. Are you enjoying our new lighting? I'm noticing I should pull this. Am I uh, enjoying it? Yeah. I, I, I don't care if it shows in pitch dark. <laughs> Did you watch the entire Halloween show yet? No. You didn't, weren't interested to see how it turned out or uh, you maybe glanced at a second of it just to um, see? Or? Did I glance? I glanced briefly when it was on. I, I watched Oh, it. when it was actually on? Yeah. Or, for I, I just accidentally saw it. Oh! Oh, yeah, I, yeah, okay, and then I left. It did look pretty good even on the TV. It was just an annoying bird. Yeah, the bird we couldn't turn off. We should have put uh, some tape over wherever his, uh, Micro, mic, yeah, the his speaker, uh, speaker yeah. was. I didn't mm -hmm. think of that at the second, but, you know, a lot was going on there, setting up. But, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun to do. Fun to do. Fun to do, that's this week's song. <laughs> Why don't you all just sing along? Uh, let's see, we have three films. None of them look interesting. Woody Allen film, which I was thinking to myself, who's putting out Woody Allen films anymore? And Weinstein. I, I found out it was Amazon Studios, oh. of course. Well, apparently Woody has a deal over there. How old is Woody? He's got to be close to 80. He's got also, a, I think he's in his 80s. You should be winding things down. <laughs> and then this the Disaster Artist, which is about this film people say is the worst ever made, The Room, which I've never seen. They show it at Proctor's once in a while. They have room viewings down there. I'm not sure why it was so bad, but maybe we'll find out as we go over the clip. Okay. Which we're going to do right now. Right I'll, now? I'll do the first one, because I don't mm. think I've done the first read for a couple sure, of weeks. Just take over the show. What do I care? <laughs> James Franco is directing this. Oh, that's then that's bad. Uh, starring Zoe Douche. Deutsch. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say that? Is it Deutsch? I would either say Deutsch or Dutch, but I certainly wouldn't say douche. <laughs> that's what came out when I glanced at that. Oh, well. <laughs> sorry, Zoe. <laughs> Allison Bree, James Franco, and Kristen Bell. The real-life story of writer-director Tommy Wiseau, the man behind what is often referred to as the Citizen Kane of bad movies. The Room is brought to life chronicling the odd film's troubled development and eventual cult success. Did we see Judd Apatow in this? Uh, I, I think we did. I think I saw a couple of, uh, what's his name there? What's his uh, collab, his pal there? Who, Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen is in there. 
I don't remember, I don't know how this film even had green screen work. It was apparently so bad. I've never heard of The Room. You've never heard of that. I've only heard of it because of Proctor's, I think. And what is so bad about it, other than, I mean, is there a, a story behind it? Is there, what's it, the film about? I'm not sure why it was so bad. <laughs> Seth Rogen isn't too pleased with it. He's going to just brought in to direct this mess here. Huh. I'll have to. I'll have to look. I'll look it up, Ed. Look it up. You can do it. Now, how did you get? Uh, I don't know. You've gone from uh, the track phone. It's still a track it's, phone. That's right? a track phone. Now, how are you connecting to the internet? Who the hell knows? Are you using Wi-Fi or your minutes or what? Uh, no, I'm just. I get. I have uh, data apparently that hmm. I'm unaware of. I don't know how this crap. Works. Allison Bree was in what? The con? Con. Yeah. Is that, okay. No, that's Brie Larson, isn't Brie it? Brie Larson. I mixed that up. Oh, Ed. I'm sorry. I the Room it. is a 2003 American independent romantic drama. Blah, blah, blah. It's primarily centered on a love triangle. There you go. How does that look to you? Does it say uh, why it's so bad, though? I don't know. You can, why don't you go on to the next film? Okay. Can keep, and I'll look it up. While I do Wonder Wheel with Woody Allen, you can look up, see if you can find out why it's so bad. It became a cult film Ed, due to its bizarre and unconventional storytelling and various technical and narrative flaws. Jeez. Oh, uh, directed by Woody Allen with Jim Belushi, Juno Temple, Justin Timberlake, and Kate Winslet. Wonder Wheel tells the story of four characters whose lives intertwine amid the hustle and bustle of the Coney Island amusement park in the 1950s. Ginny, an emotionally volatile former actress now working as a waitress in a clam house, Humpty, Ginny's rough-hewn carousel operator husband, Mickey, a handsome young lifeguard who dreams of becoming a playwright, and Carolina, Humpty's long-estranged daughter. Woody Allen shouldn't be using any characters' names who are Humpty. Oh. Uh, this is a tale of passion, violence, and betrayal that plays out against the picturesque tableau of 1950s Coney Island. Rated PG-13 for thematic content, including some sexuality, language, and smoking in the 50s. Oh, smoking, that's a terrible thing. No Kate Winslet boobs? Oh, well, she never stopped there. <laughs> okay, there's plenty of information on The Room, Ed. Do you have something new to add on The Room? Uh, it, ha it is rife with continuity errors. Several <laughs> plots and subplots and character details whose inconsistencies have been commented on by critics and audiences. Uh, plot threads that are instantly abandoned. <laughs> uh, a birthday party... Uh, where a woman says, I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. The issue is casually dismissed and never revisited again. Hmm. Uh, his background receives no information. He's sitting in park the People are playing football in tuxedos. Um, oh. At one point, a character emerges uh, and he has shaved his beard. <laughs> huh. That's so, happened in our web series. Well, we it's a web complain. series. I think that's... We, we we are fully aware of what we were doing. <laughs> I think this is just a complete accident. But anyway, there you go. Hmm. Sorry, folks. I didn't realize I was on camera. Well, we've learned about the room. I, I have to see I it. I guess we have to see it. It's so bad, right? We do. What's uh, next? You're doing the next one now. Is it the tribes of Palos or Palo or Palo? It is. Okay. It stars Meika Monroe, hmm. Cody Fern. And Jennifer Douche. I mean Garner. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Garner. When teenage Medina, not Medea, but Medina, <laughs> moves with her family to the picturesque postcard perfect paradise of Palo Verdes, California. I'm not even sure. It's a, it's a city in the United States. You'd think I should know how to say it. Uh, they seem headed for a happy new chapter in their lives. But old troubles soon catch up to them. As Medina's parents' marriage disintegrates, her mother spirals into an emotional freefall. And her twin brother turns to drugs. 
caught in the middle of it all, Medina must rely on her inner strength to become the stabilizing force in her family while finding refuge in a new passion, surfing. Set amidst the sun-kissed beaches and crystal blue waters of the California coast, this film is a stirring look at how life's greatest challenges forge who we become. <laughs> This film has no rating currently, but it has drug use, language throughout, and some sexual content. And a big close-up of teeth. Oh. <laughs> well, it's cropped in a little because it was widescreen. I usually go with uh, for the TV version here to filling up the whole screen. It's uh, throwing off the fine uh, cinematography here in this film. <laughs> and uh, stepdads or whatever it was too. It didn't really matter <laughs> if we zoomed in a little bit. But this one, it seems to matter. Oh, hi. Um, hello there. Can we do that anymore in the political Oh, I don't know. Charge? Can we go, oh, hi. Until someone who loves you for who you are on the inside. Well, maybe. I think we can. As long as we're not harassing anybody. We're not harassing her. We're just enjoying the Heine. Can we still enjoy a Heine these uh, days? We may have to start enjoying Heine's in uh, private. In our it. private, where we usually do it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep everything private. No, oh, everything must stay to within ourselves until we all just explode. Is, <laughs> is it Palo Verde's Ed? I don't know. How is that said? Should I look it up? <laughs> look it up. No. Siri, do you have Siri? I on do that not. Thing? No. No, it's a track phone. We don't get Siri. We got about 15 minutes in our last taping. I think I got the shiny spot uh, fixed now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank God, because you were working on it while I was reading <laughs> the intro of, to that film. I see what I have to do now if I have a shiny spot. I just have to hold the camera, the little mirror up here, <laughs> not down here, and then I get the, get the spot. That happens on occasion. Look, I don't care how shiny I am. I don't care. You're not shiny. You, no. you got your nice uh, <laughs> haircut for your interviews you went on there. <laughs> God, I'm so old and gray. You don't, want, you don't want to color in your beard. but They have lots of new products. No. No. You just, I don't uh, care. You don't even want to shave it off. You like your beard. I don't really like it. <laughs> You don't like. It. Don't you can like shave it. it now. There's no pickup shots needed for the the web series. Um, I could shave it, but as bad as it, I look with it, I look worse without it. Huh. It's not a good look. Okay. So it's not. It's. I don't care what color it is. It's hmm. staying. I usually shave this this off. I just didn't feel like it. I was too lazy hmm. this morning. And for the TV, you don't even want to put an eyeliner anymore. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I gave up on that. Stays are over. <laughs> the vanity is long gone. Mm. I want to look presentable, but I don't care if I look good. I only take a shower once a month. I think we look a lot better than some of our classmates who we've seen on Facebook. Uh, Got all the Facebook and reunions. I haven't really looked. You know, you have to keep it up when you're on television. When you're, you know, a regular keep it up. I don't put any effort in. When you're a regular man out there. Yeah, you know, just a uh, <laughs> friend on Facebook. You don't have to keep things up. That's right, because I'm certainly not a regular <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Uh, DVD releases, I think we're a little light this uh, week. Oh, are DVD we? DVD releases, because we're just after... Yeah. Uh, and how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, I forgot to, we forgot to wish people happy Thanksgiving last week. But it's all over and in the books now, and the Black Friday's over. Yes. Oh, I'm so tired from working. <laughs> Logan Lucky. Was that, is that Daniel Craig? Was that him in there? Yeah, that was... I wanted to see this. He had the bizarre performance, and it seems like it was just out in theaters. Apparently, it's been uh, three months now. With but, that goofy uh, Adam Driver? Is that him down there? Yeah, with the things on the face. Yes. Yeah. The he things? has a big scar on it in the new Star Wars film, so I'm waiting to raise a oh, okay. couple of things. Hmm... <laughs> 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 I noticed, though, when the lightsaber hit his face in the last, it happened to hit the side where there's more things, <laughs> more dots this? and uh, things. Uh, this is a gangster film, maybe from the 70s, from Bob Clark, who gave us uh, Christmas Story. Death he, Dream. He also gave us this film. And also Black Christmas, I believe. Ooh, spreading his wings. And we got a lovely collector's edition of Misery. Misery. Directed by uh, Rob Reiner. With that fine hobbling scene. Huh. 
where a foot was hit with a big sledgehammer. Mm. In good practical effects, we see the, the foot bend over and turn yes. around. Oh, there you go. That's it. You are right. We That's were light it. and very light. Very light this week. You got a Cami film you want to show now? Now, I remember a couple of years Cami was on the show. How long was she on for? I a swear month? it was only two tapings, oh, which okay. means eight episodes. But while she was here, she also made an appearance on our web series, which I can finish up the first episode. Now that, uh, you know, the summer's over and we don't have to go outside and do a lot of work and all that. We can... Uh, I didn't realize that was a requirement. <laughs> what, going out and doing work? Yeah, what were you doing? Well, you got to mow the lawn once in a while, you know. Now, occasional snowstorm, that's all you got to go outside. All right. So, Cammie was on... And she's been doing her own films. Remember, she did that troll film we showed mm -hmm. a little while ago. So now, and then she did this character sinful for this con screaming contest. Okay. So she brought that character back, and we have some selected scenes, and we'll play the audio from them, and then at the end, uh, it, it'll tell you where to go to see the whole film. Oh, all right. So we'll just watch the film right here. Right now, some scenes from Cammy. Uh, I think she's a witch, and she's going out in public. We'll set it up here. Hello, boys, girls, and things that go bump in the night. I've never been to an Asian market. It smelled delightful, and I've never seen such sights. Humans get on this crazy contraption called a treadmill to torture themselves. I was deathly shocked that there was a witch right out in daylight making spells on a little machine. I tried this thing called hugs. Humans push their bodies against each other to, well, I, I'm not for sure. They're just weird. I asked this puffy-haired girl if she did the waltz. She taught me how to twerk. I could do karaoke. I sung with sirens to entice sailors, and they turned against me like a crowd with pitchforks in Salem in the 1600s. Some uh, scenes from uh, Sinful's New Adventure, Dave. Sinful's New Adventure. What was her old adventure? Her old adventure, what was she doing? I don't know. It was just a, 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 a contest to be the Scream Queen. Oh, from that show? Yeah. Scream Queens? Oh. So, uh, so she's developed this character. Yes. Uh, in hopes of uh, a certain degree of popularity. Yes. With the character. All right. She certainly went out in public in she all did. manner of uh, places in the in the outfit. Uh, kudos for that. Anytime we ventured out in public, we try to <laughs> we try to hide who hide we are as we can. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Watch the whole thing on YouTube. How um, long is it? I think it's a ten minutes. Oh, okay. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Of Cammy, of Cammy being right. sinful, being sinful mm. all over um, mm. Georgia. I, I like Cammy being sinful. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, that's another film. It would have to be on uh, you porn or something. Mm. That really sinful's mm. really new adventures. Oh, well, I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I saw that was on the other day. <laughs> 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 Things are being shot up, and then they show the TV with. The, <laughs> buy that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, running joke. It's quite funny. Mm. Robocop. Robocop, the original. 
87. Robert Verhoeven. Uh, all right, uh, geez, Dave. What, we got 10 minutes? <laughs> well, we got five minutes till the game. Why? Why can't we do the game now? We can do a leisurely game. I'm out of leisurely game. Am I out of stories, I guess? Well, maybe people can watch us for the last five minutes eat donuts. We could. We have donuts here. And we don't want to give away the taping schedule, but they're the Halloween donuts. (laughs) (laughs) They're a little stale. I'm trying to think. I think that was the highlights of the work stories. Mm. If Uh, this was... If this show was taped a week later, I probably would have stories for you. <laughs> but not yet. Not yet. But they're coming. I think by the they're time coming. we tape again, you will have started a new job and ended it and have stories for That's us. That's very possible. I think very all well. that will be Not going to give anything away. Don't give away the spoilers now, Dave. But I will say this. If I uh, mm-hmm. think about an old comedy team from the 20s through the 50s right this has something similar to that there's a connection not really the, not really connected but in name only there's a connection picture one of the the comedy teams selling a lot of crap in the store <laughs> and that's about <laughs> Say he wasn't doing comedy anymore. He was selling a bunch of junk and salvage materials. (laughs) It's quality (laughs) merchandise. (laughs) Name brand merchandise. It's refurbished junk. It's sitting around for two years. The same stuff. (laughs) The same books I've seen in there. I want to know how many, uh, how often they get trucks in because of. The same stuff has been sitting there. I'll let you know. Okay, we'll find that. <laughs> there, you killed your time. Now we All got right, time there we for go. the game. Plenty of time to kill there. Uh, it's the Post of Pairs game, folks. You send in two numbers from one to six. We select your entry, reveal what's behind, <laughs> <laughs> reveal what's behind the numbers. And if they match, don't show it. Don't show we it. We can't see it from that angle. Uh, if the numbers match, <laughs> you win two free movie passes. Largest retailers of closeouts, excess inventory, and salvage merchandise. <laughs> it's like, uh, what was that show with Andy Griffith? He was the salvage guy. He would go and pick up junk. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably giving it to his comedy teams. Oh. God. Salvage one. That's what it was. I'm telling you, Ed, you're going to be shocked at the fine products, and I'll let you know. Once in a while, something <laughs> shows up in there that I buy. Uh-oh. More often than not, I leave empty-handed. Now, last week, we had a winner Yes. spin the wheel, and she lost the tickets. Right. Both of them. She's back. Hmm. Michelle Christofoli. Okay. One and two. I didn't throw this back in there, did I? <laughs> I don't think I did. No. No, I didn't. Now look, look at this. We have five minutes left of the show, and five minutes before you had would have had to have leave right. for that thing. <laughs> we were talking about. <laughs> okay, we well, well, it's not going to win because that was the same numbers you won with last week. You never know, though. All right, let's see. Didn't she match with the web series, or was it another poster? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I want her to win. Give her tickets. She lost the ticket. Two last time. Uh, well, she's won before. No, but she's. I'm glad to see number three was Titans in between oh. our hiatus here. My her- hiatus? What? <laughs> I have a hiatus hernia. Oh. Sorry, Michelle. I really, um, I'm trying to give you the tickets, but, you know, I'm sorry you lost. I'm still bummed that you lost last week. Ruined my whole week, really. All right, if you want to enter. You enter by sending us an email. It's mediazone95 at gmail.com. That's mediazone95 at gmail.com. Do not pay attention to the clip holding that board onto his finger. Oh, uh, and if you send in two send in two numbers from one to six, we select your entry, reveal what's behind the numbers you gave us. If they match, you win two free movie passes. If you're right, spin the wheel. We'll spin the wheel. You have one chance to turn those two tickets into ten. And then as you see, it goes down from there. She happened to hit that one she zero. She happened to though. hit one of the zeros. That'll happen. Time. There, right? It is just so well. It's it's not really life altering. It's a little so, bummer though. 
Yeah, that's a bummer. It is. I'm trying to think. I think our next taping won't be the Christmas show, probably. Probably the in between, I guess. But after that, uh, we'll be doing our Christmas taping, and we're going to try to... This has to be a huge, Ed. It's got to be a huge... It's one. our last one. I would love to get the, the former host, Mike, in and Kim the matinee lady to recreate one of their classic Santa routines. Oh, you think she'll want to do that? Uh, I don't know what we have to do. I know there's something we can do to get these people down here. I don't know if it's beverages or illicit materials. <laughs> what's, the, what's the popular beverage? Is it eggnog this time of year? I think it is. I see it in the store, the regular eggnog. It's gross. I like the vanilla eggnog. I don't like any eggnog. Hmm. Nothing nog, nothing egg. So we have the uh, fun, uh, be time to stay out of the malls now mm -hmm. for a month. Mm -hmm. And other st <laughs> stores that sell salvage <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell would do their Christmas shopping in a place? Oh, <laughs> oh I can tell you. <laughs> we can. Uh, special bargains, though. You know, on your refurbished. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving the whole place. You're just knocking the whole place at. Now. You need to go there and see the name brand products. The name brands. The name brands. They're not generic. I'd like to see them. <laughs> Maybe you could put a word in. More Blu-rays in the store. Because. They have um, any there? I haven't seen Not any. really. Okay. Big Lots will have a lot of good uh, Blu-rays for like three dollars. That's oh. a bargain, and they're not refurbished. <laughs> they're brand new, overstocks. Well, see, they don't. I don't think they. The, this place <laughs> necessarily does brand new. Uh -huh. It's excess inventory that is sold off. It's repackaged materials where the where the the manufacturer changes yeah. the packaging uh -huh. so they don't want to sell the old packaging so they bulk it together and they sell they wholesale it out uh -huh. so you get that <laughs> product unlike price chopper where the halloween box will sit there right. well into the spring that's right they don't care that's right all right so that uh, we've done it dave we've uh, wiped out uh, november we've wiped out no <laughs> november is gone the countdown is is continuing and uh, we're on to the Christmas season next so time. So I basically have five more times to see my the producer, my lifelong friend, and then he's off, never to be seen again for me. I guess we don't know what he's doing yet. They he don't know what he's doing, but uh, I'm just saying that he wants to oh, start cleaning out inventory. Well, no, I'll be seeing him at the bowling. So yeah, all right. So I'll, ten more times I'll see him. Well, he's always invited down to the what will be the new taping area. He's moving out of the, well, the, after that, the no, country, but, basically. But be, between the, I, we got to sign off here. But between the the yeah. shutdown here no, and we got a the whole moving, minute. we got a, we do have a minute we there, don't we? Yeah, I forget. So keep talking. Uh, I forget. But maybe, yeah, well, he need a place to live. Maybe well, he sells his place, and then he needs like a, is he gonna be like a nomad wandering around? He well, don't know. There's that know. motel down the street. <laughs> I think they usually rent by the hour though. Yeah. Down well. there. <laughs> oh, he don't know what he's doing. Man is confused. All I know is he's just go live in a casino. Or just <laughs> all the winnings, he'll just be able to pay for the room. Yeah, that's where he should live. Is down there and uh, go play his Walking Dead game and pick up, you know, a thousand here and there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I will have. To, I like to play the Walking Dead game. I guess it's fun. What Michonne pops up once in a while, and you, you hit her, and you get more winnings. And if Glenn goes there, you lose him, and he, he loses his eyeballs. And <laughs> 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 I like to play that game, but uh, All right. in the daylight, though. Oh. We will see you next time as we count down to Christmas, just like the Hallmark oh Channel does. <laughs>